we're going to assemble the Imperial Arms FN90 upper receiver for use on a PS90. Everything you need is available to buy at fnspecialties.com. You'll also need a tax stamp from the ATF. The tools you'll need are a 22 caliber cleaning rod of at least 16 inches and a narrow 15 millimeter wrench. Let's get started. First, we'll turn the receiver upside down and place the cocking handle assembly into the channel. Next, run the cleaning rod through the muzzle end of the receiver and through the hole in the cocking handle assembly. Then tilt the assembly and the cleaning rod up and push the rod above the hole at the rear of the receiver. The cleaning rod will be used as a guide to make installing the spring easier. Install the return spring over the cleaning rod. Then compress the spring until it clears the ledge in the receiver's channel. Hold the spring firmly in place as you slowly and carefully pull back on the cleaning rod until the rod just barely clears the ledge of the channel. Then push the cleaning rod down into the channel, then rearward just barely into the rear hole so the spring is fully captured and cannot escape. Turn the receiver topside up. Make sure the cleaning rod is not protruding into the recess for the barrel support lock. Then install the spring and barrel support lock, pressing them down as you push the cleaning rod all the way through. Install the barrel over the cleaning rod and through the rear of the receiver and push all the way through. You may need to push down on the barrel support lock and pull back on the cocking handle assembly to help with installation. Remove the cleaning rod, then install the barrel return spring and your muzzle device. In this case, we're installing the CMMG flash hider for the PS90, but you can also use the CMMG half by 28 thread adapter as an alternative. The barrel and muzzle device are manufactured with left hand threads, so keep this in mind as you run the muzzle device up by hand until the flat side aligns with the receiver. Finally, tighten the barrel using your 15 mm wrench. You only need to give the barrel a snug once it bottoms out. Over tightening can cause damage. Finally, check for function then adhere to the ATF's laser engraving requirements for legal compliance prior to use. And there you have it, a fully assembled FN90 upper receiver.